What's up guys, Random Razor here with another vintage uh, tech video for you guys today. And in this video, as you can see, we've got an old, um, I don't know what the hell you call these, but it's like a FM, AM radio slash TV and, uh, with a built-in clock. It's from uh, RCA and uh, this thing was uh, made in, let's see... It says it was manufactured in April of 1981. Surprisingly, the uh, tag is still there. It's just taped on. And uh, made in uh, Taiwan. So, eh, it's decent quality, I suppose. And, yeah, it's a pretty cool-looking thing. Uh, the speak There's one speaker up here. Uh, of course, you got the uh, radio. And uh, the whole thing is made of plastic. I think the front, the, the front piece here is made of metal. And these knobs are all metal except for this because I'm pretty sure metal isn't chipped like that. Definitely doesn't feel like metal. And on the back here, uh, no ports or anything, but if I can just figure out how to, I'll show you guys that later. But uh, yeah, there's an, I don't know, uh, this might be, uh, I actually have no idea what that's for, but um, I think you can put cable or something up there with an uh, adapter where uh, I don't even know what you call them, the, those uh, bunny radio things, antennas that stick up like like bunny ears, and I think they go in here. But uh, yeah, that's just uh, my assumption. Not re really too familiar with the uh, vintage vintage style stuff, such as this. But um, let's see, over here we have uh, weather. It says weather and A, B, and C. I have honestly no idea what that's for. And a little area here we can uh, grab on or hold the radio a bit more easier. And I it looks like it, it looks like it can come out, but I don't think it can. Does it? Eh, no, it doesn't. But anyways, yeah, let's fire this thing up. Oh, on the top here we have a light button, snooze button, uh, fast, slow, alarm, sleep, dimmer, and auto. I'm not absolutely sure if there was actually a light in here before to shine up the uh, back of the radio, but um, there might have been. Looks like it. Looks like it. And for those of you wondering what's all this, you know, white dots all over this radio, I think somebody was, you know, spray painting or something like that. Uh, when this thing was nearby, and it got covered in a bunch of spots of paint, so um, I guess that devalues this thing anyway. Not that it was worth much in the first place, but uh, let's fire this thing up. So um, when you go to weather, all, all, whoops, like all you get is a fuzzy noise, and switching this doesn't help either. So I, I know I guess there used to be a specific weather channel. Back in the 80s, not absolutely sure. Uh, this here, you can uh, use the knob to switch to certain channels, 2 to 6, 7 to 13, 14 to, I think that says 83. Uh, of course, you have AM, FM, and TV. Uh, first off, we do the most, most exciting thing, which is the TV. We just switch that on. Okay, I'm honestly not really sure what I'm watching, but it says, I think this is 8 channel, which is uh, channel 9 on my TV. Of course, you got a clock here. You can also adjust the contrast. And we can also adjust the brightness. And the volume, of course. It does get pretty loud, so it's a pretty decent uh, speaker in there. Just turn down the volume. So yeah, the screen, I have no idea how big it is. It's about, about the palm, about the size of my palm, so it's you know not that big, but definitely something cool to carry around. And uh, it's all black and white, not color, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. And uh, here we just switch between channels and use the knob to... Uh, go to whichever channel you want, and there isn't really that many, at least in my area there isn't, so if we go to like 2, 2 to 5, well, there's nothing there, nothing between 14 and, oh wait, wait we had to do something. Oh, that's just a French channel, no, I don't care about French. Alright, so, um, yeah, not much else to say, guys, it's a pretty uh, cool, interesting thing, pretty, it's a huge antenna. And um, it's here, and it says light, and I assume that just adjusts adjusts the uh, the light on the clock. Maybe I have no idea. Oh, there is a light on here. One second, let me turn the TV off. So when you hit light, 
it actually shines it out. I don't know if you guys can really tell. But anyways, when you press the lay button up here and hold it, uh, it does light up the uh, FM uh, numbers and all that stuff. And for some reason, it won't stay on. You have to hold it down. So that's kind of weird. But anyways, yeah, it's um pretty cool radio. And you can also carry this around with the AC, DC batteries, which you can install on the back. So, so let me just put the antenna down for a second. I think that's, yeah, that's all the way down. And uh, we'll flip this thing over. She, I don't want to ruin the table. Flip this thing over like this. And just pop this thing open. So underneath here, um, you can pretty much put a heck of a lot of batteries in here to uh, you know carry around uh, you know, using it uh, portably or, or port as a portable uh, TV slash radio. And uh, I doubt the batteries will last very long though. And over here we have looks like uh, so you can plug this into your car too, which is a kind of cool feature as well. And I think that's everything on the back here. And these, uh, if you're wondering what these things are, this is just so we can uh, hold the batteries in place so they don't flop around. But um, yeah, RC definitely made a pretty interesting radio slash TV. Here's a quick look at the back here again. And I guess that's uh, pretty much it, guys. Definitely a cool looking thing I just um, found. Uh, will I use it? Probably not. Um, on my laptop and all that stuff so definitely uh, and also a bigger TV of course so but I'm kinda surprised they still air um, TV over the air if that made any sense but you know like radio stations but cuz I pretty I thought they canceled that like they turned everything to dig digital but um, yeah and we'll just turn it on one last time I can just find the good channel and there we go I have no idea what the hell I'm watching Fortune forbid. Fortune forbid. My outside has. I'm sorry. Stop. I... That viola has Mr. Shakespeare spinning in his grave. I have 200 serious actors to audition. Now you be gone. Next. Oh, well, that kind of sucks for her, whatever happened there, but, um. Yeah. And I don't think I show you guys the FM station. At least let's find one FM station to show you guys it does work. At least I think it works. Oh, that's why. Oh, maybe not. All right, for some reason the FM part doesn't work. There we go. Uh, maybe not. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, for those of you, you know, big fans of vintage stuff. But anyways, that's my little uh, overview of this uh, RCA FM slash AM slash TV uh, radio. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Uh, peace.